the Knockin' Dead Comedy Radio Show, also brought to you by Two Eagles Auto Body. For more than 25 years, Two Eagles Auto Body has been the leader in auto body repairs and customer satisfaction on Long Island. Two Eagles Auto Body handles every type of auto repair from custom applications and restorations to repairs involving insurance claims. So call Two Eagles Auto Body and ask for John Rossi at 516-328-2527. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. Yay! Welcome to the Knock and Dead Comedy Show here on Gov's Comedy Club Podcast. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, we're here on Twitch. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I don't know who that is. Somebody just said, Boo! Ghoul, Ghoul Casey, Casey 5. 5. Don't know who you are, but thanks for watching. Ghoul. Ah! No, yeah, it, it doesn't right. pair. Get uh, welcome to the Knock and Dead Comedy Show here on Twitch, Gov's Comedy Club Podcast, Twitch channel. Please follow the page, like the page, share the page, all that stuff. Tell page everybody you know, page, 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 page the page. page. Tell everybody you know about all the great shows here, Gov's Comedy Club Podcast, on Twitch, and of course on our YouTube channel as well. Andy's here, and Carol is here. <laughs> Carol is here. Yay. Carol, one of my absolute favorites, who always supplies us with deliciousness. Thank you. I, 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 <laughs> Delicious. All right, all right, so Ghoul, I don't know who Ghoul is, but Ghoul says, Tony, I'm a huge fan, so this is obviously a troll of some sort. Or it's a really Robot. fat person. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, or they're a BFF, <coughs> a B- no, big B- fucking B- fan. <laughs> it's actually a company that sells these giant industrial fans for like a jo- uh, big... Uh, yeah, it is. Google it. Big they're ass huge. Fans. No. Big or ass, big ass fans big or something. Ass fans. I thought they were yeah, big fucking big fans. Texas. On the money. Uh, speaking of which, uh, are you hot? Should I turn AC on? Is everybody good? Everybody comfortable? She is fucking smoking hot. <laughs> oh, I I know it. I know. Look at her. I'm steaming up in here. I'm oh, in yeah? Texas. Yeah, you are. This is like, what the hell? Thank you. Thank this, you. This is so... Yeah, I, so I would think it's freezing outside then for you, no? It's not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad. Yesterday was a, a bit of a shock. Yesterday was yeah. a little on the cold end. Yeah, yeah I was not a fan. Because I'm watching the weather the last week. You guys were gorgeous. And then I'm <laughs> well, I'm coming. And we're still cold. gorgeous. But the weather was nice, too. Yes. I'm also oh. coming. Yes. <laughs> In many ways. Tony, I no, said just I would. one. one way. <laughs> yeah. Tony, I said I would tune in today. Oh, I know who you are now. That's my pal, Chris. Got it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You Thanks for watching there. Clue us in. Chris. Um, Sorry for calling you fat. <laughs> and then he wrote on the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm confused, though. All this talk about, you know, so you're saying, you know, the weather, and then before we went on the air, you were all confused because Andy's making Suffolk County references. You grew up here. Did, like, this stuff just leaves your head? Yeah, it does. Really? I left here, like, a long time ago. How so. long ago? When did you leave? Uh, 88. Shit. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh that. So you didn't. So your high school, your senior year of high school was not at Hicksville. Wow, your memory. My like memory's awful. Nothing. My memory's awful. We went over this last time. Yeah. This is going to be a I, I lighter know. conversation. As as I was, ma- so, as I'm asking I'm that, I'm thinking we talk about this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I uh, I didn't. I moved when I was in eleventh grade. So all right. Like so then a lot of it makes sense, and that she doesn't know a lot of it. Well, I do know once, like, it's kind of like muscle memory, like when you start doing something. But uh, I think I'm better from the Queens to Hicksville 
kind of, but anything outside, but, like it well, took yeah. me to the Lantau to come today. I was like, what the fuck am I taking the Lantau? Oh, because it's no, great. That, it's a great. No, that way makes in. sense. It's from, a great way. In. From where you're staying, that makes your, your in that, yeah, rat that makes total hole sense. In. <laughs> yes, that we're not naming. Yes, it, it makes total sense. <laughs> 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 yeah. <it's> <laughs> 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 All right. So here's something I didn't ask you last time. I'm positive. So I'm getting a little Got personal. It. So you left in, after 11th grade. So what did you do? You you but you were still with. Yes, the other. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, My ex, yes. Because you went to Florida first. That's where you moved to, right? Yeah. So you guys had this long-distance relationship to the Without point. Without iPhones or right. cell phones then, which was, you know. To the point where you eventually even had a kid together. Got married and had a kid. I know. I'm, Holy I'm, moly. It's insane. I, I, was, I don't claim to be very bright. Well, um, yeah, we're Hicks <laughs> uh, yeah, we're Yeah, no, that comes with <laughs> that the. That comes uh, across very yes. clearly. Um but yeah, that was it. Was tough, you know, back then, you know, when I just didn't know any better. Thinking with the vag. Yeah, I, nice. well, you know, it was funny because I I dated a lot. Oh, I was a serial dater, and uh, <laughs> it, you know, crunch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she didn't. Date. I was crunching all over. Yeah, there was no but, Tony the Tiger going on. You never dated me, damn it. You just saying, when the milk came, things yeah. didn't get soggy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's a non-soggy I'm milk. Eat cereal, so you know. <laughs> nice. I would have eaten cereal with you, Carol. Aww. All right, I, I'm gonna get really <laughs> dirty. No, I'm not. That's I'm not gonna can, say what can. the next. No, no, it's no. All good. I don't want these people because some of them might know my wife. Oh. And it would yeah. be. No, uh, no then you get in trouble. And I just don't want to hear about way. her eye rolling. I don't want to hear about her eye rolling. So like her I can eye hear it from here. Yeah. Yeah. She's in Smithtown right now working. So I'm and so I could hear it. If you wouldn't mind, come a little closer to Andy. Yeah, because we're losing you on the. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Everything. Everything has to ha happen closer than what it appears on the Who's and What's. It. Oh, the who, really? The feed, whatever. Uh oh, they apart. Things appear larger than they. Seem. Well, <laughs> there you are. Uh, there it, <laughs> it's larger because I said so. <laughs> Okay, that's all you need to know. Okay. You're of the right generation to, right. To, to, to to believe a line of bullshit. <laughs> I can smell it a mile away. <clears throat> or two feet. <laughs> I thought I showered today. <laughs> yeah, no, I showered today. It's impossible for you to smell it. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm going to be like in <clears throat> with steel wool when I get home. Just... <laughs> Only on the ass part. <laughs> Gotta go front and back. <laughs> Let me use the other one because maybe there's... Just, maybe it's on the no, hand. There's, there's actually an improvement. But anyway, I'm sorry. I to talk about my hygiene now. This, this is actually historical. This is the first time you two are meeting in person. Yeah, I know. I wanted to do some trivia, but you were like, no. Nah. No, because I wanted to be fun. Last time was such a heavy show. I want it to be oh. fun. Well, under, like, I, I will say, like, under the pressure of, like, actually being here and because, like, when you're at home, it's just like you hear the question, you're like, oh, that's blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But when you're actually in here, it changes the ability. Dynamic. Yeah. Because you're under, yeah. you're kind of under pressure and like, I guess oh. that's why the, when you see those people, like, on Wheel of Fortune and you're, like, screaming from home, it's like, it. You know, you fucking idiot. Right. <laughs> right. And you can't see it, and it's right in front of them. You're like, yeah. oh, my God, they're spinning well, again. Well, Wheel of Fortune, I've, since I was a kid, been calling it Wheel of Morons. Oh. And I say it along with the Wheel of Morons. <laughs> my daughters say it now, too. The, uh, But, no, Jeopardy is more of the one that, like, if you watch and it's like. Yeah. The, I think I had said it to you after the last round of uh, Celebrity Jeopardy. Right. Uh I'm sitting there and I forgot it was like really simple and it was like a literary reference and I'm like, like Romeo and Juliet, what is Romeo and Juliet? What is Romeo? I'm like yelling at the TV and because uh, they just can't hear you, and, and, <laughs> right? Well, I'm just like I'm trying to will it. Like Ike Barinholtz was on and I'm like trying to will Ike Barinholtz to like have the right answer, but then uh, like they nobody answers and I turned to my wife and I said I need to get famous so I can win this game, yeah. or win the game and get famous. Well, well, yeah, celebrity. Look, Jeffrey, look at right. Ken Jennings, that scab mother. You don't like Ken? No, listen, Ken. I actually have a, fa a familial connection to Ken Jennings. Oh. Uh, the um, he's uh, Jeopardy because Maya Bialik said that she felt uncomfortable <clears throat> filming 
uh, shows while the writers were on strike. And Ken said, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so he's w- been oh, taking some fire. Yeah, I saw she walked off. I was, didn't. Yeah, I didn't know any of this. Uh, so, so, so Ken oh, wow. Jennings, when he was uh, <clears throat> a child, his father was like a colonel in the army. And they were stationed in Korea the same year that my Uncle Bill, who uh, is a professional actor, uh, but he is graduated college, joined the army to pay off his college loans. Um, but when he was over there, he he did a lot of theater, like community theater. Uh, and in uh, The Sound of Music, Ken Jennings and all of his, his kids, or his kids, his brothers and sisters, they were the children in Sound oh. of Music. Oh. So... Uh, so yeah, my 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 uncle's known him since 1987-ish. Oh. Well, speaking of hills that are alive, show us your shirt. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a fucking great! This is awesome. <laughs> you said now I can actually just fully look. Nice yeah. rack. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at what it says. Look. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Andy Puljanos, number one fan. Yeah, nice. on my front. Nice. Oh. oh my God! Oh, there you go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes, I do. I just know that I'm getting more uh, more views <laughs> to use the parlance of our modern era, <laughs> and probably more likes. Oh, well, that's listen as well. I've never enjoyed your name as much as I do right yeah. now. The Tetons are here to help. Nice. The what? I, the te- te- Les Tetons. Oh, uh, the Tets. <laughs> <laughs> Le I'm not the as Grand dumb as Teton, I look, the Grand Tetons, oh, yeah. the are. mountain range out west. Well, I'm sorry, in so Wyoming. Is it Wyoming? Yes. Uh, they, they're called the Grand Tetons, and it's from the French uh, tits. Oh, the Great Tits or Big Tits. See, I could like I could tell you guys. I mean, you guys are down to the same glasses for crying. Yeah, no, there's no, definitely no, like some in. synergy going on. I was actually thinking, should I go put on another pair? It, this is a it, little. Well, like, it's funny when I go to uh, perform, I actually use the black. <clears throat> Ones and I always say as I pick them up, uh, I go, I'm funnier in black <laughs> because I've tried it with these. And I somebody said at the mic, I think it was Alex Bradley, was like, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think, uh, you having the clear frames has like brought out your like flamboyance or something. Really? I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Fat. <laughs> that's kind of, like, that's kind of a reference, like just a color of a. Glasses? Uh, change? Uh, like right. I am somebody who truly believes that every little thing, ma- like uh, my grandfather used to say, it's like ballet. Every movement has a meaning. Because uh, I, well, so here's the thing. Like you well, go your up there. My family was deep. Oh like, no. <laughs> yeah, this is oh, so much over my head. I, <laughs> but like, l- like I found that like, I, I, and I tried. Like when I got them, I would go and I'm like, these people aren't laughing as much. So okay, let's next show. Let me go ahead and put these up because. You have to project something to people and get them to know that. who you are. <laughs> it's it's not it's not that. Right. In fact, I think it's I think it's the usual uh suspect. Um uh the usual uh, telemarketer. It says it's coming from Nap, Wyo- uh Wisconsin. Oh. So it's it's a telemarketer. Would you like to They're selling you cheese. We'll see. All right. They're not going to answer. Hello? 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 Am I speaking to Mr. Rosemary? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Sorry? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Hi, my name is James and I'm calling from the warranty department of home. Oh my god, James, wait, James is the name. Uh, wait, is this my nephew, James? Sorry? Is this my nephew, James? Because I need you yeah, to come over and help me with the bass, like I told yeah. Aunt Margaret. I told Aunt Margaret, and she said that James was going to call you to come and fix the tub. Are you going to come and fix the tub? Because I can't wash myself right now, James. Are you coming? Hello? Yes, ma'am? James, did you talk to Aunt Margaret? Did you talk to Aunt Margaret? James, you're being sick with me now. Are you going to answer my question or not? Hello? Hello? Who's it? James! Is this James? Yeah, hi, Ma- James, yeah, I yeah, need yeah. you to come yeah. and fix the bathtub. Ma'am, this is a call regarding the warranty cover on your home. Appliances, I don't, listen, okay? I don't, I can't talk about that right now, James. 
I need oh. to take a bath. It's very, very, the air is thick, James, here. It's been days. Oh, yeah. So I do. I need you to come and help me. Well, can I have your address, ma'am? Well, you know where I live, James. You've been here a hundred times. Ma'am, do your address in 92. You turn... Oh, uh, wait a second. Is this one of them scams? Are you... Where, do you have my nephew, James? Where is he? Mama. You're obviously not him because James knows where I live. Ma'am, I'm transferring your call to my senior. Please talk with her. I'm sorry. I don't understand you. You must not be James. Could you please put my James on the phone? Hello? Hello, is this James? Uh, no, uh, am I speaking to Mrs. Rosemary? Yes, and I need James to come and fix my tub. I talked to Margaret, Thank Aunt you, Margaret, uh, and who is this? Wait a second, what happened to the James I was talking to? Which James are you? Ma'am, ma'am? Yes, Are you in home right now? I am in my home, and I need the tub fixed. Okay, I, you know what? I, I believe you have your kitchen appliances, right? No, 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 no. Listen, don't try to and change the subject on me right now. We were talking <laughs> about my tub, and I need James to come and fix it. I don't understand why okay, this James is so hard. Know. Franklin, Franklin. Ma ma ma'am, why do we need James? His name is James, which is like James. Yes, it's like James. Yeah. That's what well, is he gonna come fix the tub? I don't know. Hey, he's coming to fix the tub. Right. I, I, I can't move. I'm in the wheelchair. I can't fix the tub. We need James. Could you please put James back on the phone? Hello? Yes. James. Hi. Yeah, I need James, yeah. you to call Aunt Margaret if you're confused. Call Aunt Margaret, Margaret and I number? need you to come here as soon as possible. James drunk again. Ma'am, for that, I need to confirm your address, ma'am. Well, then confi I'd like to confirm my... That doesn't even make sense. You know where I live. You've been here. You no, had to help me out of the tub that one address. time. What? 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 Yes, ma'am? James, I need you to come fix... I... I I feel like I'm not even speaking English right now. I, Does it? I told you, he's drunk again. I thought he stopped hitting the sauce. <sighs> James, uh, James, are you drinking again? I don't yes, believe your Uncle Frank Franklin when he says this, but Uncle Frank thinks that you might be drinking again. Is that true, James? You can talk to me. Just open up. Open up. Are you drinking again? No, he's gone. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's I what they can't. all say, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> you just opened that door and you walked right through. Well, it was open. It, was it wouldn't open. be open if you didn't want. Seven. If you open didn't like want me in there. If you didn't seven. want me in there. It wouldn't have been open. I can't. I'm shocked that they, they stayed on the line. line. I know. I know. That was. <laughs> let, that's my favorite part. That's actually my favorite I part. Can't like. Like, it's the next person's you cubicle. You can hear them you laughing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> That's going to be on there. You know when they have a Christmas spot? Well, do they sell them for Christmas? I don't know. Yeah, I pro I'm probably. Everybody, you know, like everybody appropriates party. our white culture. <laughs> <laughs> Even us Jews, I put Christmas lights That's on That's what I'm saying. Uh, dude, which I think is the greatest <laughs> thing because it's like... Like, uh, when people complain, like, oh, you can't say happy, happy, Merry Christmas. It's like, dude, I know more Jewish people that, like, celebrate Christmas than so, yeah, like, happy holidays. Well, I don't take offense as long, you know, I'll, I'll wish them a happy Hanukkah. And you should see, like, especially in Texas, they're a little dumbfounded, like, okay, not sure what to do with that. Don't I even know what that means. I've done it they here. Do, well, in my area, they do a little bit, but it's just so because I don't mind people wishing me Merry Christmas. Right. I think it's just wishing, you know. It's well, right. it's the other. It's the other way. People want to be able to set like they don't want to be told or they don't want to hear somebody say Happy Holidays to them for some reason because they look at it as an attack on their 
Christmasness, I guess. Which, if you're not confident in your Christmas, I was going to say that Christmas. sounds like you're a little insecure. Yeah, with in your down in the Christmas area, the <laughs> your tree's not something. big enough or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, tree why envy. Why don't you work on that tree a little bit? <laughs> you could dress it up all you like, <laughs> but if the tree isn't like a mm, tree, they like the shiny balls but yeah. instead of this, the regular ones. Shiny balls, which yeah. steel yeah. wool will help. Shiny with balls of Hanukkah. <laughs> that sounds like a song. It should be a song. An Adam you Sandler song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Grab the, on Hanukkah <laughs> grab the guitar. Every single year. I don't know. I'm, you can make it. I don't think I get, like, it's so funny. Like, I want, like, there's a song idea I have, and uh, I want it to be a ba- ballad of the number one dad is what it's called. And I have lyrics for it and everything, but it's like, like, when I do it, it's like, <laughs> where I really well, want it to be sing the words. Like, don't, yeah, don't do yeah. that. Sing the words. Yeah, I don't have them with me. Uh, I do have a recording of it, though. Can we can we talk to your kids and see if that's, like, actually a true statement? They may not even know who I am. Okay. <laughs> I got to be honest, because I'm not 100% like... sure who they are. <laughs> Don Sill, that was Andy's best yet. Which, oh, the, was with so the good. call. I'm not I good with dying. that stuff normally. I gotta be honest. You did fine. That was awesome. You did fine. Ken I Bichelle love- says, "Is it the Texas IRS scam people?" They follow me everywhere. Uh, no, it was an appliance warranty thing. I just didn't. Well, let them- it seemed like a house warranty, and as soon as you said appliance, like you coming, I was like, "Oh, you just led them a line, yeah. so now they can go off of that." So. But Which then they, when they changed to the woman, that was like hysterical. that was hilarious. I'm looking at Tony. I'm like, I can't believe they haven't yeah. hung up. Kind of my right. favorite is when she gave up. Yeah, <coughs> and just handed it back. And just handed back. Like, I dude, just, I can't fucking help. Both you. of That's them good. once in a, once every few minutes were making sound effects. They were just like, oh, like every few minutes you heard like a weird noise coming. Oh, well, you could also hear the hundreds Hun- of other people yes. in, in the, the room. Background. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. that's always the best. You know when you. That's the worst. I hate those. <laughs> I really do. That's why I don't have a landline anymore because it was just useless. Right. I mean, it was. Yes. It's just. I. It was hard. You know, it was so weird to like just cut the landline. We never used it, but yeah. it was like, oh, it was always like a safety thing. Like if I have to call nine one one because years ago you had nine one one on your cell phone, you right. didn't know if it would work or go to the right station. And it's like my husband finally looks at me and goes, "What's your attachment to the landline? Right. We don't even use it." It's done. I was like, because I like my number. <laughs> well, I, like I actually, my number. I like I actually got number. copper service a few years ago. <clears throat> yeah. Like a, like a direct oh. hard line. Because like, most people, if they have a landline, it's actually cable these days. Right. So I, I called them and I was like, hey, I'd like copper service and everything. And it was a whole... It took like months. Actually, I bet, yeah. With like calling and being on the line for like hours. Oh, I bet you some of these guys don't even know how to hook that up anymore. Well, that it was all older older guys. Yeah. And actually, the guy who did the installation left his uh, voltometer, mm-hmm. and um, has never been back for it. Like we've kept, we keep it in this spot in the. Don't you think he'd miss that? Right, <laughs> but he was also like, "Yeah, fuck Verizon. I'm fucking retiring soon. I'm the only asshole who knows how to do this shit. I don't know wow. what the fuck they're gonna do afterwards." Because I had told him like, "Oh, my dad was a was a phone company guy in the city at Long Island, the building in Long Island City." And like, "Oh, no shit!" And we were just bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. My uh, mother still has her landline too, and she says all the time, "She goes, well, in case there's an emergency, I have my phone." I was like, "But nobody else does. So you have a landline. Who are you gonna call?" Yeah. Ghostbuster. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I see Ken's. Uh, hi, Ken. Yep. Ken Pichel saying hello. Yeah. Fremder, the Jews invented Christmas. You're welcome. And then he says, I'm still reading Andrew's name off the front of her shirt. Please move the mic. <laughs> I love that it's spelled Just right. Just for Fremder for yeah. one time. Fremdier. Ooh. Check it out. So, wow. I knew that this was. I had my girlfriend make this. Like, last minute, I'm like, I got to do something. And then I called my girlfriend Kim. And I was like, "Can you do this for me?" And she absolutely. We can. We can do the uh, traditional uh, international soccer at the end. We'll take off, take our, off shirts our shirts and, and, and throw it around them. our head. Yeah, it's well, I think this is a only one time only kind of shirt, though. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Ken Michelle says that's outstanding. See, I knew Ken. And the was shirt's dirty, great too. You dirty, oh. dirty birdie. That's right. <laughs> I will say, Frender, <clears throat> it's so funny because he. Don't you can't say Frender. That's so funny. Like you, that it, can't be a sentence. I, he is, and you know what? It's only. I, am I gonna ruin this for him? He's such a sweet guy. Yeah, he is. When he, 
with his wife and he's so adoring like it yes. really is and then i see the comments like when i'm on and usually i have it kind of going in the background because i'm waiting for my first client because we're an hour back right so sometimes i'm not on yes you know, yes you guys are an hour <laughs> slow in texas yes, i know we, we do take we a little that. time but you know we get there eventually an hour behind mm. an hour later Give so, me an hour behind. I'll tell you yeah. what. <laughs> I am just setting him up. What is happening? Well, they're all set. That, I like, don't know what's happening. Tony knows it well. Yeah. Everything is everything. A setup. Everything. People could be talking about, I don't know, politics or Jesus or something, and Andy gives me a look, and I'm like, well, he, he found something. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, before you said something like, um, I was That's fucking funny. in stitches. And I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and who was in there with you? But anyway. <laughs> Or, and stitches is just. Can I get our number? <laughs> <laughs> so that's just three off of that one right, thing. Right there, you said. So right quick. there. And yeah. I was like, because mm, I told you with, with when we're interviewing people, I will keep my mouth shut. Mm, right. And that's what you were just saying. That 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 because it's like he'll keep his really? mouth shut. But I don't. His, I but don't, his ass. Uh, he yeah, farts the whole just, time through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I'm my farts sound like. <laughs> Whatever you think you smell right now, that's actually me. Okay. <laughs> a sweet aroma with a little yeah. bit of 7-Eleven afterwards. Yes. <laughs> yep. All manner of 7-Eleven. I even had the onion roll this morning. Oh, oh. lovely. Which I was going through my notes. My was seven. It? My seven. Yeah. That's going through my notes. This is how so I do yeah. that. <laughs> it's just so nobody can see. Oh. That only I get to watch. Top secret. But, um, Nobody's looking. I yeah, actually went all the way to the bottom of the. <laughs> and, uh, the He's ski? a bottom feeder. Yeah. Okay. He's on the bottom. Uh, I got my brown wings <laughs> and my red wings. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I hear every time. Mm -hmm. don't, and also, don't stop. <laughs> uh, the uh, right there. Right I think there. that's. I think that's you talking but, to yourself. But, but my that's okay. But my Seven Eleven poem then song. I found the original, and originally it was guy who, it's it just written as a note, guy who puts the butter on my onion roll. Uh -huh. And it was onion roll originally, not just buttered roll. Uh -huh. But anyway. Uh -huh. Guy who puts the butter on Someday onion that'll be worth roll. something, I'm sure. To I thought somebody. I was on like the Jerky Boys. Do you remember those? Oh, of course I remember those. We That's had that we called. had one of them on the show. Yeah. I, I, thought I think your mom said that I sound like her. No, because when I oh. when I was doing my, I was like, you gotta, I keep my landline so I can call people. Uh, so she's like, that sounds oh, just like oh. me. And I'll get a phone call later on today. And uh, let's see. She should. It, all right. No. Yeah. She should. Oh, what's the offensive Come on. comment? All right. So let me see. Yeah. Friend came through with an offensive comment. Let's see if they'll let me. Whoa. It's a long one. Uh, using my wife is a good sport, except for last night when I couldn't stop making jokes after she told me about the couple that was decapitated in the convertible on the way to the beach. What? I said, well, when you're driving, it's good to look ahead mm -hmm. uh, where the brains of these people behind the wheel, probably out of the window, and she didn't talk to me for the rest of the night. We're okay now. I'll allow it because it's not really dirty. But well, Thank you for, for making us, giving us the resolution of that because <laughs> that would have fucking ruined my Who day, was Andy. that? Friend Friend uh, that would have ruined my day Andy, not knowing Andy, how Andy. that resolved. <laughs> I would just think for days and days that... I hope she's talking to him again. Why did he bring that up? Um, head. Oh. 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 Something with his wife and adoring. And, and, um, right. And head. Just when I <coughs> gave him a compliment. Yeah. See, he went. Damn that's it. why you can't. Tony. See, Tony knows. I do know. Gosh. <clears throat> yep. It took me a while, but I know. I'm done. I'm not being nice anymore. Finito. Oh. So that's being nice is over. Yep. Like the mean people suck movement you remember that yeah there were t-shirts and everything mm -hmm. then my favorite was when somebody finally made the t-shirt that said uh night yeah but nice people swallow yes absolutely right mm. all right That's so i got my so, husband the first time yes. <laughs> i forget this is what God, i'm just okay <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Onward. anyway is he is he watching i just realized now that i probably shouldn't have said no, that no i don't know i it, i don't think so all right because i know he doesn't really enjoy the perverted humor oh, that we have no he's <clears throat> no he he enjoys it it's just it's just not, not not when it's aimed at you yeah oh, he sorry. enjoys it and then it just it's a <clears throat> uh, you know i mean six foot three and he's he's he is he's he's a just, teddy bear yeah but Aww. yeah that's passive aggressive 
So I don't know. Like, it's one of those. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Make sexual comments about my wife. That's great. That'd be great. I want to hear all of them. And then Go I, ahead. I Go hear ahead. it. It's like yeah. that one time I was, I was like, you guys were doing the show. And he'd say something. I find it funny because it really, especially I'm 5'1". So, you know, I'm vertically challenged. And then to have the the depth of myself is also like come on now like you know three you're gonna have to be a little clearer about the depth of yourself i'm (laughs) saying like the the boobs being the way that i I, you know i could have gotten better in that department and now you just now have to have an kid and being 50 almost 52 you know i can tie him in a knot around my head so i can i'd pay to see that yeah so i was just about to say you don't you I've, well i've in paid New York for dumber just things for a, little, a couple more days i need to make some extra money you know so i feel you on that you never know um so, <laughs> so he never like never he doesn't enough. just sit back for and say that's true never enough oh what it's never enough. you never have enough money Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, the, yeah, oh, yeah I was, right. That's, yeah. Not, yeah, that's I, what yeah. we were thinking, too. Sure. Never enough <laughs> money. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I um, took my glasses off because I was steaming mine up. <laughs> <laughs> he he never sits back and says, yeah, that's right. Those those are mine. Like, as we're sitting here talking about you, he's not like, he's like, yeah, they can joke all they want. He's at a doctor's appointment right now. <laughs> oh, so I hope he's fuming in the uh, <laughs> he's at dermatologist's waiting room. Appointment, so he's good. It's like your skin is so hot to the touch, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he loves Tony too. So, it's oh, like, and I yeah. love him. He is. He really is one so of the nicest guys. So he has all that guys. hate that he could just place on me at this point. The, exactly. No, which is I, why I get said that. passive aggressive. Uh, so it's like when I get passive. does he get mad? Yeah. I, like in general, I don't mean just at this. I mean really. Yeah. Passive I can't even aggressive. picture that. Yeah. He is really one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life. Really. I and you would think after God, being with me for almost. <clears throat> 25 years he would kind of go uh he'd be used to you and your antics like mm, i don't tolerate it so you would think at this point he would kind of like oh i get it i i need to aim my anger elsewhere you know like i'll tell him go, when he gets really upset i was like go to the golf range and just beat the shit out of all the golf balls you can go just, beat your balls go, go, go wherever you know balls. wherever you need to <laughs> to right. go bust some because balls up. i just yeah i don't i Ball busting, you know. another thing that you usually have to pay extra for. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> wow. I mean, does he yell? Like, I no, I, no, yeah. no. It's just the, you know. The slow burn. Yeah. It's not even like he's angry, like the things he'll say, you know, or just like a little yeah. zet. And where is he from? The Midwest say. somewhere, right? Where is he he's from? He's originally from Chicago. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. So you would, I mean, Chicago is like a, it's not like a. We're not talking like Bumfuck, Ohio or something. Like we're talking about Chicago. No, no, but Bumfuck, like- Ohio, you can get there. I think 80, right, goes through Bumfuck. Yeah, no, and it also Route 66, goes- oh, I think, isn't it? The old Route 66. Yeah. But you would think, but, you know, I'm, you know, he's not from, you know, New some York? quiet town. Like he's from, Ch- He actually is from a uh, tougher part of Chicago. Right, so that's so. what I'm saying. Does he have the Great Lakes affect? Oh, the accent? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it comes out once in a while. It, well, just once in a while, hot dogs. Yeah. Hot, hot dog. <laughs> like, they just opened a Portillo's, which is a big Chicago place in, uh, for hot dogs. and For Tiny Red Hots. Beef. Let's be, <laughs> let's call them what they actually are, right? I'm sure he'd appreciate you using the language. But, no, he his doesn't. native he, language. No, not Red Hots. Doesn't they, 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 it's hot dogs. Hot dogs? And hot every time, hot dogs. I'm like, it's <laughs> a hot bears. dog. What's, what, what, hot dog. Hat <laughs> red hat. See, that's why red hat sounds great, but much better coming from those guys. Oh, it's just we'll you go know. get some red hats. So, what people in parts of the country people say red hats instead of hot dogs? Yeah, matter of fact, when I was on my uh, uh, bus trip from New York to Phoenix, uh, we stopped there, and me and the guy I was traveling with, we started walking through, walking around trying to find something to eat, trying to find the Sears Tower where we could see the Sears Tower, and there were like three stands that were, well, I mean. They were like trailers, and uh, they were all. They all said Red Hots, and then it hit me, Woody Woodpecker. Red Hots, get your Red Hots here. Walter Lance was from oh. Chicago. Oh yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. That Red Hots. Oh, okay. Only you would do that. What, go to Woody Hot. Woodpecker. Yes, absolutely. Stop this. This I break. I need to make. I I can't give compliments. I'll I'll do it after the like, off the air because yeah, it really are. like I'm amazed. Like some. If Woody you had gone straight e- for the police, everywhere. none of this would have <laughs> happened. Know. That's my favorite episode. I still say that to people. 
Do they understand? No, and I don't care. <laughs> no, my brother and I often say it to each other, you know, and it's like, in, and not even like, if Woody had gone straight to the police, none of this would have happened. It's like, you know, and then I said to dad, blah, 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 and you know, if Woody had gone straight to the police, <laughs> like it's like such shorthand for that, for like, wow. if you had just done so what you were supposed to do to be, my, well, me and my brother primarily. Oh, okay. Right? Fremder's uh, Woodpecker's uh, Red Hot right now, he says. Yeah, it is. Yep. Red oh, Rocket. Oh, Bosey's on. <clears throat> Bose. I did. S- I, yeah. I, 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 uh, I, hey, Bosey, <laughs> game recognizing game. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Birds of a feather flock together. Oh, and then Daphne argued with me yesterday about that. She's like, no, I think it's birds of a feather fly together. Because that makes more sense. Because flocking together wouldn't make... Like flocking means g- they're not always flying. Daff congregating. It's a congre right, and so congregating. See, doesn't I have a brain too. I believe you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't want. It's like, oh, she she's hiding behind her computer because she doesn't want to do trivia. It's like I literally have like I have you guys on, and I'm doing something, and I'll run that and try to, especially sports questions, because I love sports. Yes. So mm. if I know it, like I'll just give a guess. You know, I just and I love that you still have Mookie Wilson doing the intro and i was like oh you've had him on the oh, show. you're the He's one like, never been on i'm pissed i got invited to the met game the other night by yeah, tartaglioni yeah, yeah. and williamson and they ran into him they ran into mookie i i turned Why the did ga- you I, go? I wasn't feeling good the day before and i and they were waiting on me to, as far as mm-hmm. buying tickets i was he like guys i don't want to hold you up just just go i'm just gonna turn it down and yeah i saw went and saw chris roach instead what a disappointment. Yeah. I know. Uh, but yeah, they saw Mookie. But did, did, what day was that? This is just two days ago. Oh, man. But did I? Did you hear? I, I what was that last week? I announced it. I'm, I'm getting, I got an interview with Mookie booked. No, I didn't hear. Oh, and yeah. Like a, like a <clears throat> JB Smoove style sitting at a table. Oh, it's just me. It's like the old Tony Walker style. That's right. See? Me, me, Mookie, two other guys. That's it. We're having dinner together. That's and and awesome. they they uh, they let me interview them. Although I am, I did go to these guys. And say, look, I'm not trying to be um, unappreciative, but because they want to do the interview, they're, they're saying bring your equipment. We'll do it in the restaurant. I'm like, right. I go look. That's not how that works. <clears throat> right. I'm like the equipment. <laughs> right. I, we're not getting a private room, so it's in this restaurant. There's going to oh, be other noisy. people around. Yeah. I can't set up lighting. No. The 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 microphones are going to pick up all the noise. I, you know, God forbid I spill, you know, something gets spilled on the equipment. I'm you know, like, I wonder if he's like, uh, <laughs> hey, Tony Walker, what, uh, <laughs> can you tell me where the best hand job place is? Can you imagine? <laughs> like, I would be freaked out because <laughs> I've known him to be a man of faith for a little Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Like, uh, like, That'd be if you had like hey, Dykstra. Hey, Tony Walker. Oh, yeah. yeah. That hey. would be a different conversation. Oh, if it was Dykstra, I'd have to supply Coke and yeah, strippers. Exactly. Where's the best yeah. rub and tug? Now, he would be able to tell you where the best. Dykstra would be able to tell you where the best exactly. rub and tugs are. Well, that's yeah. what I'd probably say to him. Look, if you want to know what to do around here, call Dykstra. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's probably Yo, what I would tell you him. You know what? Lenny gave me this number, and uh, <laughs> they tried to they tried to uh, rob me. So I'm just uh, wondering if you could tell me, Mr. Tony Walker, where. <laughs> Trying to do my best off of that because I've seen it a million Off of that times. video? The yeah. Mookie. Yeah, you can call. Yeah, like, sometime, on. sometime I'd like to go to a rub and hug. <laughs> <laughs> can you have him do that next time when he comes in? When you oh, I'm sure he'll do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Yeah, I'm sure that'd be no you problem. You have it already written on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Just read what Trust is written me. on the paper. Trust me. You're going to love it. <laughs> and we'll pay you double for this interview. <laughs> Yeah, that we're giving you now nothing. <laughs> uh, and I well, I have a feeling. I wonder if I'm going to get hit with the bill at the end of the night after. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to convince them Just to come definitely here. Definitely make sure they know, like, like you know that beforehand, because that would be so fucking. That'd annoying be to shitty. find out. In yeah. moment. it would be shitty, but you'd have I mean, to take off your leg and go look. Oh, I've done that with Mookie. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I keep, keep my keep, I keep my keep money my in my legs so people don't rob me. <laughs> no, I, I I showed him that once for and, a reach around. Uh, oh. <laughs> Well, that's where you're here. <laughs> yeah. um, I showed him. I showed him the leg once. I because it's got it says Mets on it. And he uh, he said to me, "Oh, we got to get a picture." And and it, I did that with Gary Carter too. And it, same thing. He came. And then right Gary over. Carter died of brain cancer. <laughs> after seeing. Good it. job, Tony Walker. It, he actually was diagnosed <laughs> shortly after oh I uh, met him. Yeah. How could you? One of the I, greatest. I loved him. I was too, a big man. Keith Hernandez fan. I was huge. That <clears> was because after well, Strawberry, and then he started. I was like, no, but Keith Hernandez was always. Uh, yeah, uh, women, women dug, dug him. And what? He was a big cokehead. Oh, I thought you said yeah. I was. I was like, what? 
know. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, he was heavy into that. Yeah. So I love seeing yeah. him on TV now. You know, it's like they they all like the prim and proper. Like I'm like, right. I'm more of a you. fan of like professional baseball. So I was a, I'm a Yankee fan. Uh, you know? mm-hmm. So I didn't really have a favorite bat. Your Yankees are not doing much better than our Mets this year. Yeah, no, and listen, a Yankee fan, a true Yankee fan, will not, this part of the year, oh, you had her. It's yes. always this part she, of the year. She was preaching the fucking, the, the, the gospel of Yankee fans because this is usually the, the time worst. of year where Mets fans go, oh, not yeah. the, uh, Mets are doing it all this year, except this year with all the yeah. injuries and everything. But like, this is the year, this is going to be great. Fuck the Yankees. You guys are like 14 games behind. And then it's August <laughs> and it's like the Yankees Oops. are three games up yeah. and yep. uh, the Mets are 500. And, and they're like, waiting for you guys... Judge to just carry the whole team to the rest. Hey, whoever. Uh, Fremder, I was a Yankee fan at about 8.30 this morning. Ah. Mm. For the Mookie interview, you should charge him the same amount that he charged you for the signature in the intro. Yeah. That would be hilarious. 25 bucks. Texas Rangers are doing pretty well. Are they? Yes, they are. Who's who's their manager now? Oh, I just had it in my head. I can't. Time and lip shots? (laughs) You had Chris Woodward, who was a former (laughs) Met. And he... The Grom. The Grom is hurt. (laughs) <laughs> I, I did go we did i sent you a picture because we went to your game mm-hmm. and uh degrom was pitching i made sure i was like oh i got yeah, it very and nice. we won hilarious so it was hey, good hey, I'm telling but it was against the a's so we right. were gonna win so well that's true yeah the a's are a mess yeah well they're moving to vegas right yes so it should be awesome yeah now they're, no, they're, they're gonna be even messy even messier because the players just gonna be having fun they should uh they should change know, the name of las vegas well. to oakland just <laughs> at this point, right? Yeah. What did you say? They should change the Las Vegas name to Oakland. The Oakland Raiders are there, and mm-hmm. they have uh, Vegas Knights hockey team. Right, which may as well be the Golden Seals, as far as I'm concerned. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the other night somebody was complaining about the Flash movie. I was going to tell you this earlier, and uh, being like, "Oh, Ezra Miller, blah blah blah." And uh, I got up, and you know, you take notes. Like I like to go like around sixth through seventh, and write notes about what everybody's saying, and then go up and like you call back other people's stuff, and right. we riff and all that. But I go up and uh, I go, "Hey, you're complaining about the Flash movie. Try being a Ted Cord Beetle Blue Beetle fan." No. And that's the exact reaction Crickets. that everybody and I, Crickets. But they all like they all got it too. They're like, I don't know what that is. I'm not a blue beetle, third blue beetle, Jaime Rodriguez fan. I, I am. I do have all the comics. But what's a blue beetle, Jaime Rodriguez? I don't know what that is. So blue beetle is a character in DC's universe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, this hurts. <laughs> Originally, there was a guy named. Um, Garrett. Should James Garrett was the original Blue Beetle, and he had this scarab. Miss Garrett from Facts of Life? Pretty much. Same same spelling and everything. Oh, oh my God. I just realized they may have been related. The Facts of Life. They're, they're, they're superheroes. But he had this thing that gave him power. But Matter of fact, Owlman from Watchmen is based on Blue Beetle. Uh, even his flying ship, that, that the, the owl, the flying owl, whatever, there's a beetle that is... Uh, t- which was Ted Cord, who was the second. Yes. Is this revenge because we were talking about baseball? Yeah. Oh. No, it totally is. Well, Ken Pichel, Andy dropping the Golden Seals reference. That was amazing. He And he Excited. writes that in capital letters. Yes. Wow. Um, no. Not oh, Bo- like whalers, oh, Bruce though. Bochy is the... Bruce Bochy is... With his weird uh, eyelashes. <clears throat> right? What? Bruce Bochy has like the weirdest fucking eyelashes. I can't say I've noticed. I, either of I. He's good friends with Huey Lewis. Uh, Ken Pichel wants to know if you're a Stars fan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, well, number like, one, Chicago, no. Chicago Blackhawks. Nice. Um, That's my original yeah, six. I love go-to. Chicago. Because like, they're in the Western Let's... Conference, so I can root for them. Well, they're an original, too. So right. That That's what I'm saying. Like, it, if yeah. You have to have an original six that you have an affinity for Yeah. if you're a hockey fan. And so the, the to Hawks. me, the Blackhawks yeah. is the least uh, mm. impactful to my Islander Yes. Fanship, yeah. except for all those years we were winning the cup, but that's okay. With you know, but now you got New York Rangers have 
Kane. Right, so which I, you I, said. I he won't be there long. He, there, he's gone this summer. I don't know. I was really happy I to see Panarin to and him Buffalo. back together because when we have got Panarin and Henry When he was Kane, a rookie, yeah. Oh, man, it was like magic <clears throat> on the ice. And, uh, you know, I I was big Duncan Keith fan and... Seabrook. I, I am barely guys. breathing, but I can. Duncan Keith, right? Duncan Keith. I am barely breathing. That song. No, not a big Duncan that's... Keith fan, obviously. Duncan Cheek. I think he's. No. I don't know. Let me, let me write Bruce Bochy. So, so eyelashes. Vague. So we're not there, but yes, oh, I yeah. am. Uh, I world. am a Stars fan, and they are going against the, actually Vegas. So it is uh, down to them. Hopefully they'll pull it off. Yeah, Bruce Bochy. Yeah. There's even a an article that the title of which is Bruce Bochy's white eyelashes have the same origin story as the Joker from 2010. I have wow. to see who who he is in order to reference. I'm very visual. Well, as as Andy's looking, I want to. What? So you brought some stuff, which you're always nice enough to do. Well, because uh, you said on air after I sent you this huge box for your birthday. Uh, buck- oh, yes. <laughs> See the white eyelashes? His right eye. His left eye, not so much with the white eyelashes, but this is from years ago. So he has like a wow. birthmark, probably. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Or like his. I he's obviously committed to Satan. <laughs> Only half. Kiss, half. right? Nights in the service of Satan. Only half. Since one time. So yeah, you you said you were uh, not gonna eat chocolate, which I was so offended because I'm like, I'm your dealer for Bucky. Oh, I'm not. I'll and, still eat. The, trust me, I'll still eat the Bucky. And I thought about bringing Bucky's sold. because I He's specifically this told is not you, Bucky's. This is not Bucky's. This is from yes. a uh, small chocolate company that's in my town, and uh, I just uh, and they finally got into like Walmart when we trying does, to find retail. Spaces. How does one become a small chocolate country? company in your town in let me in our town um <laughs> you gotta bribe the mayor nice you know that's hot well yeah like your men dark chocolate right uh that you uh that you want in your town um <laughs> so right in the town <laughs> so do you know these people um i i originally invested when they were like kind of yeah Starting up just because um, they have a storefront <clears throat> now as well. So it's a um, vegetarian restaurant. Oh. And uh, they're, the guy who runs the company with his wife, and it's like a family business, a small business, and being able to get retail space, like shelf space, in a major chain mm. is a big deal. Right. Because, I've watched you know, Shark Tank. I'm familiar yeah. with that. I was a merchandiser for years, but, so I know how that. But but so, did you say to these people, "Hey, hey, hey, we got Bucky's"? Um, no, because a lot of us in Texas, like, we don't. It's kind of like, oh, all right, we'll go. Like my son loves Bucky's. He has uh. so many Bucky's T-shirts. Like all his wardrobe now is Bucky's. Oh, and Zach said to, for you to give him a shout out. So. Zach, <laughs> Zach, Roby Minor. <laughs> No, no, actually, no minor. Just Zach Roby. That's right. <laughs> Zach Roby, my favorite my favorite artist. Yeah. Nice. He was so funny, though, because I was talking about him. He goes, you going on Tony's show? And I said, yeah, I'll be on Tony's show tomorrow. He's like, okay, tell him to give me a shout. <laughs> I'm like, really? I'm more than happy to give Zach a <laughs> shout Anytime out. Anytime you want to ask, go he's right ahead. Funny. He's but my pal. I love that kid. Yeah, he's... Um, like once in a while. So are you trying to tell me that Zach, because Zach's a smart guy, so he understands the importance of Bucky's. But are you telling me that it, Bucky's is not, is Bucky's not loved down there like well, like it's it loved is, here? Well, it is, but it's like you know, it's just like not, another day. Well, yeah, I'm just but going to Bucky's because you run into all the people who you can tell are from like out of town right. and going to Bucky's, and they're just like, oh, my God. oh it's like, like in New York, knowing the tourists because they're looking up. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's really, yeah. yeah. And their cart, like, they have carts, and it's full, because you could buy everything there. Like, he, my (laughs) girlfriend works for Hooey, which is a clothing company for professional bull riders. It's a whole lot of Hooey. A Hooey Hooey. (laughs) So It's like the worst name for anything. Well, you know why they call it that? Hooey, for the Uh, bull riders. uh, H-O-O-E-Y. Yeah, that's also what my grandparents called anything, anything that they wanted that to say shit, shit <laughs> in front of me. Exactly. Oh, that's a load of hooey. <laughs> <laughs> malarkey, even. I mean, malarkey, malarkey is a much more a serious word. degree. Of, I like that word. Right? Yeah, okay. uh, half. That, and that's that side, yeah. And Tony's Irish now, too. That he found He's out. very I don't Irish. I know what I am. I, have no, I don't really care. Who only eats 
potatoes. Yeah. I almost got you a French fry hat because it's so ridiculous with you and your French fries and fast food. I don't eat fast See, food, so it is uh, amazing to me. I respect uh, uh, Brandon trying to bring you along slowly. Yeah. Yes. But I can't wait. Oh, that was gross. I yesterday. honestly think like it, and <laughs> like and if you know he's not watching. So uh, my suggestion though to him <laughs> I mean, is he's not watching. Trust me. And uh, <laughs> out of the seven people who uh, are watching, yeah. You're... So I'm one. You're one. <laughs> He's one. That's three. Actually, I'm not. Uh, I don't his know. mother, Bozy, Fremder, uh, Ken Pichel. Okay. There you go. There's a seven. I'm not. I'm not Wait, watching. This doesn't count? No, that doesn't oh, count. okay. Yeah. So then we do have a mystery viewer. Oh, yeah. That um, the ghoul from earlier. The one that said boo. Oh, yes. Actually, I don't think I he's watching. I thought Jen was going to be here. Oh, Jen Snortland? Yeah. Jen Snortland will be. When I, I'm bringing you here tomorrow night. Jen Snortland okay. is playing. In the in the giggle room. Excellent. Yep, Jen Snortland. She said she wanted to kiss me, and I was like, "Already, I was like, getting really? already." Wait, wait a minute. What? Got the old remember, she sharpen. said she goes, oh, oh, I, I, yeah. "Listen, I remember that." Oh, so you're looking forward to that? Yeah, Bozy, I said your fucking name. Like, what? Um, um hello. hello. Yeah, we got um, you. Hello. Oh, well, hello, Jeff. Oh, because I didn't read his one comment before. My favorite was Doctor Manhattan because who doesn't love a naked blue man? All right, so now you happy? Now I read your comment, Jeff. Who was supposed to be Captain <clears throat> Adam from the old Charlton comics? Go on. Jeff, last it's week. amazing your head doesn't but, explode with all Oh, the, his head explodes. Yeah, Stick does. around. <laughs> I'll, I'll so leave the room okay, if I'm you want. Leave. Yeah. I keep really <clears throat> setting myself up yeah. for failure. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. No, it's not failure at all. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. I'm playing to the audience, I um, guess. Especially yeah. if you're going to kiss Jen tomorrow night. Yeah, just, <laughs> yes. I can't concentrate now for the rest of the show. Um, Till tomorrow. <clears throat> Bosey, uh, yeah, uh, Bosey, I'll have you know, um, last week when I didn't go up because they asked me to, and I said, no, I'm just here to support Bosey, I saw Joe Carletto today. What, right? You heard it, right? One of the first things I was not, oh, I heard you refuse to go up last week because you didn't want to upstage Bosey. I was like, holy shit. He said, why did he even quit? Yeah, he did. He said <laughs> that. hilarious. So let me ask you guys a question, both of you <clears throat> being comedians. Did, how? Like, where was the turning point that you felt like, okay, I want to go in front of people and try to do this? Because you, we all know people who are funny that are just, you know, you're like, oh, you should be a comedian. But what makes you take that next step to actually get on the stage and go, I want to do this. And I want to either fail miserably some nights or, you know, come off and feel good. And you're asking because you're thinking about it. No. What are you kidding? I think you'd be great. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I, not, I curse too much. The, the, I mean, the first thing is, is that it's not what everybody thinks it is. It's not easy. Well, n the, nothing is easy. Uh, okay. anything, oh, Andy's there, getting deep on you. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's But it's true. It's uh, like Because it is an art form which has been very difficult for me to say that and feel comfortable saying that why because comedy everybody it's a thing that like everybody does but mm. not everybody can do do well but i'm talking about leave like even like what we're doing now or if you're in the workplace and you just okay. drop like some funny comments and whatnot and people you should go up and oh they have a whole thing about that um sorry oh, to, no that's it, that's fine uh me too uh, but it it it, uh, it is different than what the outside perception is. Like once you start doing it and you take it seriously and whatnot, and you start going down the slope, and this is why so many people quit because it's not what they think it is. Right. Uh, so I'm actually it, like I like your question, and I think I'm giving you a follow up question. Okay. Being like, why are you still Should doing I? it? You know what I'm saying? Like that to me is a more interesting question. Why are you still doing it? Because, uh, like, while you're doing it, everybody, like, I'm telling you, you go to an open mic, you get people who are just like, oh, fuck it, I'll get up there. Yeah. Like, so, so to the, the the actual act, the commitment to, to like, go to open try mics. it is, is not as interesting in my mind as, okay, you went up the first time. Why the hell would you keep doing it? Because the, it is a tremendous amount of effort. Uh, yeah, I good. think it, and a lot of discipline because it's like it's like a learning a skit because you have. Have to you have... met Billy Geyer? No, you obviously haven't. <laughs> Listen, I saw I discipline. I go and see a lot of comedians. I've been I like right. my first comedian that I've ever s Ooh. seen. Ooh, 
was David Brenner at oh. Westbury. I was a kid. I think I was like 10. My parents brought me. Right. And the first time. Oh, no, I you saw didn't a, go by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, keep going. <laughs> Unnecessary detail. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> And uh, when you tell this again, I, know, I guess I, I should really be careful because setups, you know, you don't right. like setups, so it's OK. Well, no, like it's it's here's one I of the things. It's yep, like thanks. an editing thing. And I've turned it into a conversational joke of like picking out details that are unnecessary mm -hmm. for the overall story. Uh, I just so just get to it because like Butera, I will actually <laughs> stop him from being able to tell the story because I'll go. We don't need to hear this part. I don't care who was there. <laughs> It does it does in it the play. outcome in the outcome <laughs> does it play to the outcome no well then i don't fucking care who right. you're sitting there going oh who was the last person who's the last Shh. Dude, who nobody cares <clears throat> keep going okay. but anyway I, i'm sorry i digress, I digress. <laughs> uh and Got you back. i i truly remember watching george carlin special that came out on hbo <clears throat> 1982 81 i don't remember. yes Sure. No, he did but, like one a year. That yeah. was like through the time where he was doing so. Yes, and it, I, I laughed so hard I peed my pants. Like that was an incredible. Super hot. It was so <laughs> great. I know. Usually you have to pay shower. extra for that. But it, I like that's a vivid memory. So <laughs> well, yeah, I would hope so. Like just being around my family, where there were not many happy. Go lucky uh, moments. Rock and roll, yeah. So for all of us to sit there in front of the TV and watch, like, and be able and, to share that, yeah, yeah like, yeah. Ju I think it was the first time I ever saw my uh, sperm donor um, laugh his ass off completely. Right. <laughs> like it. W I call my dad a glorified sperm donor too. Yeah, I, so. I have an egg donor and a sperm donor. Oh. So. <laughs> and last time I was here, I didn't even realize. I was told two days later, la after last year, I was on the show. That my sperm donor had died three years ago. Oh man! No kidding. Yeah, I didn't even know. Wow, no. that had to feel good though. I it was like a it was a weird feeling. I wasn't quite sure how to feel. Right. I felt a little betrayed because I was like, someone should at least. But then I'm like, I don't know. No, because like, I actually think that it's it's <clears throat> this is why I say like a nice thing is because you've you have obviously made a choice to live your life in a certain way where people know that. And so all the, the, the love that you have surrounded yourself with uh, pr protecting you. Yeah. Like, that's why I say, like, that's that's got to feel good because, like, it's not that feels good that he died. I'm sure you do. But, like, to, to the, the fact that the people around you are like, oh, well, she... She doesn't need she to, doesn't know, need to that. know that's not her life yeah. anymore. Um, and it's not like you want, I mean, I don't know. Even there's if you a, found there's out. A different well, be, be, <clears throat> I'm a silver lining. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but if you found out at the time, it's not like you would have went to the services, no, right? right. So it didn't, no, I wouldn't have. I just, right. It just would have been like for three years. Like I had to call my brother and go, did you know? Like, And did he? No, none of us. There you go. Three of us. No, nobody in the family. Not so even you're not his special. First cousin. No. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, not so you're not special. special. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I should lay down on the couch. And <laughs> but so that was, uh, that was an interesting, like, you yeah. know, and it was, I looked at Mike and Mike was, my uncle had told me because my uh, egg donor told him. And right. he, the look on his face was kind of almost because he was surprised that I didn't know. How did egg donor know? Because they were married for so long, like they were only married like twenty one years. Yeah, but that's long Social enough. Security. Yeah. So starts kicking in. Oh, right, right, right. You right, know, right. and she, <clears throat> yeah. So that was very interesting. But she chose not, like she would reach out to us about other stupid shit, like if I email, like I thought you'd like this article, and it's like fuck you, just go away, <laughs> and you know. Oh, okay. You know? Now I get what you're saying with the and yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but you'll you'll do that. And like in like she bitches about me on Facebook and how I'm a horrible person because obviously I, you know it's yeah it's pretty funny. I laugh because yeah. she's well, I hope she's, so, yeah. she's not mentally well. She's been yeah, but it's kind of like really you do all that, but you hide this from your own children just to say hey, not sure if you wanted to know, but just to let you know that. <laughs> 
It's, it's okay to yeah. It's okay to report facts. Yeah, instead like of there's, right. like 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 yeah. yeah, there's no need to, 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 to yeah. But it's always she's it's a one up. Like, yeah. Oh God. Yeah, it's a one upper. That's that's her all the time. Like story toppers. Oh. Yeah, unreal. we've had conversations. And now that she you. she's had a stroke. I put that in count because. Oh my goodness, not dude! I love that I got to experience somebody using air quotes when referring to a major medical fucking event, right? Like, yeah. You know, a stroke. Yeah. A heart attack. Who <laughs> barely there's a brain tumor. Do you know her? You must know her. Because that's like all. No, of I, I, I just I don't think I've ever gotten to do that, and I'm jealous. Oh. So. You can use it if you want. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I will. But Talk it was about Carol's. Oh, I, I, I'm a joke stealer. I'm famous. Oh. So. <laughs> anyway, back to you. So tell me, like, seriously, what? Because you were always funny as a kid. Oh, like, you thanks. were always funny looking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Especially Sorry, I'm, I'm well, doing the low hanging fruit. You, you should have seen me when she knew me as kids when oh, I had I hair. Pictures. I was hair. really funny looking. Curly hair. Oh, awful. Um, I, well, I. It's really just from be- from here. For me, that's what it was from being here and being around the comedians. Because I, I was fine in my world of murder mysteries. Yeah. I, I, Which is comedy. Right. And performing. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a comedy troupe. But, right. But it's a completely different animal. You know, yeah. I, I'm, there, I'm out there with a group of people and we can back each other up. I'm not, you're not out there by yourself where it's you against the world. But, yeah, just being here, being around... Everybody, else. Oh, and this I, might be fun. You know, I, I do want to say, like, <clears throat> that because I think just the way that you explained it, and because you're you, it is tremendously difficult. Like, it's not like like all stand ups cannot do what you do. You know what I'm you, saying? You're talking about the murder mysteries. Yes. Well, it's just, it, yeah. Well, it's not that's st- a lot of improv. No, I just right. That's improv. what I'm saying. But like, it's I, acting in general, not yeah. just stand up. I, I know, but I also want to make sure <clears throat> that like it's not like because you're kind of being a little. Uh, it it because I think it's just normal for you to like be humble about yes. it. Yes, like it's it's what you do is difficult and uh and fantastic and and well, that's thanks. it is. I've I, said yeah, I've we, said it to you before. Yeah. Like it's it's uh it's a different thing, and and just like stand up is a different thing. And improv, right. straight improv is do is a different thing. Like all of these things. <clears throat> well, and that's what I tell people. It's not it's not improv because a lot of people say that. Oh, you guys do a lot of it. no. It's Some. not. It's ad lib, because there's a difference. You know, improv is from you know Volkov. you're you're creating a situation from scratch. Ad lib is you're already in a situation. You're just adding to it. Right. You right. know, so it's two different things. So I I do love getting comedians because I do feel from crowd work from being on stage they are quick to come so out with stuff. Why'd you get boss, bossy? <laughs> It's well, a, the government <laughs> told us community <laughs> service. I don't know. There's a lot of. Ch- gonna, I just know there's a lot of. Sh- me. There's a lot of children involved. I needed somebody to put on a man to put on a dress, and I figured yeah. Bosey's doing that anyway. So right. why not get paid? Well, why not get well, paid minimal. a little bit more <laughs> than than he gets, as opposed to you know him having to pay out right. for for that service. So, um, uh oh, he just commented. I don't <clears> even want to read. What it. Oh, wow, Bosey, what a. <laughs> I never thought that before. Wow. Yeah, Bosi said, what bothers me is that I might be better thought. doing the murder mysteries than the actual stand-up. Bosi has, in fact, he's a perfect he's example. He's footing. He's, there's been several times where something happens during the show. He'll throw a quick little you know, jab, jab out there, and the place just it, the place goes nuts, and we have to stop for a second to wait for well, the laughter. I think because like, the ad lib, the best predictor, is like is in a conversation situation, <clears throat> and right. we all would tell Bosi... You're so funny when you're not on stage. Stop going on stage. <laughs> but that's, that's no, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I just like, like, but that's where a lot like, of people. <laughs> I thought he was your friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it's and it's difficult to transfer and like the much like the frames, like it's difficult to to translate whatever it is you are like in and you go oh that person's so funny you should try comedy and you go up and you try and you're like oh my god this is not the funny that i am in trucin we talk about this all the time and yeah. he says it in his class yeah and i i can quote him still to this day of it where it's if you get one laugh a minute hanging out at the bar you are the funniest fucking guy at the bar right but if you only get one laugh a minute in your seven minute set Mm-hmm. On stage, you're the worst fucking comedian of all time. Yeah, I like, get that. It's it's so it's it's it it doesn't necessarily translate, translate. 
uh, uh, that sort of thing. And much like it doesn't translate to do like I, I did one for Tony and like the amount. And for me, it was, wow, the amount of effort I would have to do to be good at this is more than I think I am willing to, to, to do when I'm trying to do other things. Cause it is its own. Like, I mean, it, it it's, you have to treat this stuff serious. In my mind, anyway, you got to treat this stuff serious. Oh, absolutely! I take and, it very seriously. And 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 it, it, it's and especially for how good they are. I mean, you've seen them, I'm sure. I've yes. never seen no? them. I've never been in town when they've uh, uh, had a show. Uh, Every that's time. Bad. <laughs> when it's <laughs> it's. But it's 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 and you you know with anything with like a teamwork oriented kind of situation, you don't want to go in there and fuck it up for everybody right you know because they're all very it's very they're very very good at what they do and and i like i i do think everybody should go see it if you if you haven't you need to go see it if you if you've only seen one show you should go see another show what's that (laughs) he she asked how much i paid you to say that (laughs) that's the hand job he's giving me right now (laughs) right now uh, and, look, and my hands are up here. I, that's how good I, I am. I it's a, another it's attachment a light he has under the table. But it's an attachment saying. he has for the leg. Yeah, right. It's a well. It's actually the stump itself is right up his ass right, right. now. Oh, yeah. That's why this chair is so uncomfortable. So I'm starting to tear <laughs> up. <laughs> starting to tear up because <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been fisted by a stump before. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't call but it. It really stretches you out. It's not really? a fist. It's it's yeah. just a stump job. It's yeah. a stump job. And then you walk a little weird afterwards, right? You have a little. No, I'm used to it. By yeah, now. he's used to it now. Yeah. <laughs> no. But he, but it is nice. Like he just dumps like a bird. He doesn't yeah. even feel. He no. just dumps and keeps my, going. This yeah. is what my farts sound like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darth Vader. Are there kegels for that? I don't know. No, yeah. but there is a kegin <laughs> that one can do. <laughs> Anytime you and want. You know what? That's so he's lost. A whore. Mike, you're never going to see that. <clears throat> he might. He, uh, Bosey's probably re- letting him know right right now. <laughs> They're talking about you right now. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad that I couldn't do their show the other night. I had to cancel right. on them. So I said, "Hey, look, I actually offered to them. I said I want to make up for it. I said, why don't you guys? I asked. I invited them to join us today. I figured that would be fun. Richie." Um, um, no key, Hershey yeah, and the keys. Could, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, if I hear no, stop <laughs> that sign one more time. <laughs> I, was like, I don't want to hear about yeah, the no. fucking sign one more goddamn time, dude. And I, I just brought it up, so it's gonna now. I'm now I'm doing oh, it to oh, myself, right? Uh, yes. I'll tell well, you the fantasy that I had was I'm all right with to that, dress right? in all like a ninja gear and go and cut it down, <laughs> like it's I, begging to happen. I mean, I will never do it. <laughs> you just incriminated yourself. I know. He's gonna go this is going totally to. I know I'm making myself the first phone call. Exactly. Not and, the, and comment on every show. I'll, I'll be hearing about this Mark for about two weeks. doesn't know me at all. Right. Right. But now he'll ask your, Keegan yeah. to, to, to call me. Yep. Oh. So and I, he knows Bosi and the shit that Bosi got. That was so stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. It was Not insane. a Bosi. I it was insane. Right, it was like every day. Yeah. It's oh, It's yeah. like, can you just... It was windy, really? I mean, now he's going to start incriminating people. I was like... You, and and listen, I, listen, I believe... Like, I... It's you like can, someone came up and... Dun, 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 <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Batipede is who's the last person to see... Right. Theoretically to see the sign. Yes. And I'm not saying that she's wrong. I'm not saying she's right. I'm just saying sometimes people remember things... In the way an, they want to remember. In an odd order that mm-hmm. fits whatever's being talked about. I, it's happened to me a million times. And, and and I just think that, like, when you think about an investigation, this is why I knew it was not a serious like, investigation. What the hell? This- All right. <laughs> Which is... Wh- wh- <laughs> chair. I'm looking at it on the screen and on my phone, and I'm like... Well, now I it's funny. like a... M- you look I like look what? a munchkin. You look like a Muppet. Yeah. But that, like yeah, but I know, but then you... Well, because I have... I finally realized it's probably a lever to make me look like I'm actually an adult, not like you know, a little person. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't I'm trying to three inches taller than try I'm to go down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, you know what? Before I forget, uh oh, so and I mentioned this stuff that you brought that's not Bucky's. I I don't brought give me shitty chocolate. I'll smack well, you. I don't know what you consider shitty chocolate when you have Bucky's down there. Right so there. I, <laughs> so I brought these are these are all shitty. Do you know too? why I know. I, I used to own a chocolate company. 
Oh, neat. So, did I know this? Uh, yeah, I've told you, but your memory is shit. My memory so is awful. Um, and so all this is shit. None of this is good for you. Well, or good to I'll you? explain to something okay. to you. Okay. First Sorry. of all, I'm gluten free, <clears throat> and uh, that I yeah, all human beings are. There's no gluten, gluten in us. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Keep going. God, if I do, I feel like I can't talk because everything's a setup. Um, <laughs> and anyway, back in 2009, we dissolved the company because we hit the recession. And it was just all, really hot that day. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was no more chocolate. And they all melted. Yeah. And we were in Texas. It was 110, and people Ooh. were just combusting into flames automatically. Um, the FDA back then actually changed what you can qualify as chocolate. There was like an actual thing to say okay. what yes. qualifies so as a confectioner's versus a chocolate. Like identifying they as the they, them kind of thing? <laughs> yes. Right. So um, we decided like to get real good chocolate out there. And it's usually that shit is not good for you because you, you've mentioned it. Hershey bar when we were kids does not taste like a Hershey bar now. Right. There's more fillers, emulsifiers to bulk it up. Big word. And um, it's not as big. Right. I'm, I'm with Andy. I've That's always thought it was a good time. size. <laughs> I've been told it's a good size. King size. Yeah. Notice how you, I mean, you want to call it the big. king you size. Can... This is like, yeah, wow. It's if this yeah. doesn't say a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, I just uh, <laughs> wanted to make sure you enjoyed it. <laughs> that there was enough for you to enjoy. Know, does it say more about me or does it say more about you? <laughs> I'm not sure. I was bringing enough to share. I can. I just knew uh, I wanted to fill all your holes. <laughs> That's why there's a Twix. All my holes. Um. Including your nostrils. <laughs> and ears. <laughs> So that's why I I have a higher standard for chocolate no. than that. So the dark chocolate. That's actually a seven. It's sixty to seventy five uh. is considered semi sweet. Believe it or not. Okay. Dark chocolate is and like it's healthier. 70. I choose it to is, believe you. It is better for you. This is made with organic. You, you'll notice the ingredients on the back, and that's what you want to look for. It's our. Organic cocoa, organic cane sugar, organic hazelnuts, organic uh, cocoa butter. No, mine so. says organic cayenne pepper. Well, because that's the I know. spicy. I'm spicy. My son that says from? that all the time. It was from a commercial. It was. It was like a Kentucky I'm fried chicken. Kentucky fried chicken like sandwich Might have or something been, yeah. like that. Which, by the way, the best commercial ever was made by Kentucky Fried Chicken, which was the whole I ate the bones. When, when they came out that. with the sandwich that has the uh, oh, instead the of bread, it's the it's the chicken breast. Oh, and, I don't and know. It's, and like they they finish and be like, I ate the, oh my god, I <laughs> ate the bones because <laughs> there's no bones. <laughs> That's my f- I, I, I brilliant. I, I Burger King. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's okay. disappointing. What? That's disappointing. It was Burger King oh. because they're probably going to fail. <laughs> oh. No, they're they're closing 400 restaurants this year. Burger King? Uh-huh. So I'm hoping not the one in uh, Stony Brook. Burger King? Really? Yes. Do they really flame broil their burgers? I think that was... Uh, that's We're cool. broiling! Yeah, it's like, I remember that years ago. See, what was the place by us? Uh, <coughs> Wesson's. Wesson's. Mm. That was like a big night out for my family. That yes. and Arthur Treacher's. Oh, yeah. Arthur, you know, yep. Same here. Big night out. And then the, behind Arthur Treacher's, was, uh, there was an Italian restaurant. Casa Casa Allegra? Mom, what is it? Is Mom, it? my mother took us there all the time. Really? Yeah. We used to go to Dominico's. Oh, I love Dominico's. Here in Levittown. Yeah. It's, and there was a game room right distance. next door. Oh, really? I don't remember that. Yeah, there was a game room <clears throat> either next door or a couple doors down, and uh, we would get a dollar each if we were good sitting four at games. the restaurant. All right. So, like, yeah, that's four games. Right. So, I'm so I'm hyped challenged and I, so if this is 52 when i was eight nine years old i yeah it, i was a, i was a very tiny kid and we my brothers would go off and play you know pinball and pinball was always a big line so big jody the foster Pachinko fans. machines <laughs> never had lines <laughs> oh sorry <my> god <laughs> <laughs> what what never had lines pachinko do you oh. remember pachinko no. Yes, because they play See, it on. Uh, well, because they play it on uh, the Price is Right. If you saw it on Price is Right, maybe if I saw it, they I know call, it, but they call it Plinko. Plinko. 
Yes. Pachinko was the one with the silver balls. <laughs> Everything I say, I feel like silver I balls. <laughs> silver balls looks like uncles coming for dinner. Oh Go on. And Casa you Allegra, you were right. Casa uh, Allegra. Oh, Allegra. Okay. oh, I thought that's what you said. I said Casa Allegra. No. I left out a syllable. Yeah. Sorry. You got a ghoul. Where does that come from? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't remember a game room next to Domenico. I didn't go there as a kid to Domenico's. No. It was in the rough part of <clears throat> Hicksville? No, it's Domenico's is, is here in Levittown. Levittown. Yeah. But no, that, it's Hempstead Turnpike. Like, we, you know, we didn't venture down this far. Oh. We stayed in Hicksville. This is far. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes from the house. We went to Jolly Rogers. That was considered far. Oh, because that's ground you know, round. That was in another. Th- well, ground round was in Hicksville. You didn't is, is that still around? Oh. No, idea. no. There's like I think there might be one independently operated one, but the last one that was on Long Island was in uh, Patchogue. Or Medford, and it closed some years ago. Like when I first started doing comedy. What's the one on Sunrise? That's the one. That's the, that's considered that's out in Patrick Patrick or it's, Medford. It's, it's right. It's it's uh yeah oh just past Nichols Road. Right. Exit. There was run right down the block here in Hempstead Turnpike for a while here in Levittown. Oh really? Yeah. I grew up with one in Port Jeff, it, right in Port Jeff Station, and then that, now it's a Panera. Well, yeah. I mean that's. <laughs> Panera. It was in Hicksville for years. I mean that's where. That was where you had all the big parties. Right. But that's yeah. and I Monday Night Football. That's where <coughs> in high school we would go for mm-hmm. Monday Night Football. I don't even remember the food. I don't remember anything. Oh, I used to love. Like, I used to go there all the time. Like I loved it. I loved it. I remember I think it's what they call crunching on yeah, peanuts, the, peanuts. Yep. the whole time. You didn't you like know. that? I don't know. I was a little kid. I would was always, you know. Well, they always had the cartoons playing. That was great. Yes, uh, uh, in like old silent old, movies. Old, yeah. They used to have the. Um, they used to have silent. Uh, movies of some Batman TV yeah, show. All the yeah, the serial stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, the serials. Oh. So where did you hang out then? I don't even remember. Where did I hang out as far as what? Like at the, with your friends. What you, oh, we go to the mall. Yeah, I told okay. you, I got kicked out of the mall like for a year. <laughs> you know, nice. one time was a year, one time was six months. Mm-hmm. Dolores knew my name by heart. Dolores you know? was scary, man. This, mm-hmm. She was this tall, so. strange woman. She was the head of security at the mall for a long time. She was She was weird. What's her, what was her deal? You you, you must know. I how would I? Know? I don't know. I made that you up. You seem like you know her. That's right. Yeah. You no, had a good relationship I, with her. Yeah, apparently. She, I'm very close. But right? Would you agree? She was scary. She's very scary. Yeah. Yeah. She, Someone told me she's still alive too. When, like <clears> really? I see her or something. I was like, I I think I'd probably go. She's like, encased PTSD. in carbonite at the mall. <laughs> she's caged and everything. <clears throat> she's still kicking people out. And she doesn't even work there anymore. <laughs> 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 My mother lives on the second floor. Her apartment's on the second floor of a house. And the the landlord rents out the first floor and also the basement. He has a basement apartment. Years ago, the, there was this guy living in there who he would he was a drunk, probably on other things too. And he had a girlfriend. She was there all the time, but he would beat her up all the time. You, we could hear it. Oh my gosh! And but yet this girl would still come back. She didn't even live there. She would just show up to be with her boyfriend, and then he beat her up. And one time we can we That's hear sad though. Oh, it was awful. And we can hear the noise and. My mother has this big, giant window in the living room. so And it was late at night, and I just kind of peeked out to see if I can... Because I think they're actually outside fighting, right? There's Dolores. She's standing on the front lawn. She looks up at me. You! Call the police! My mother comes over. She shuts the blinds. She says, stay away from the window. I'm like, okay. But, but, but all I can think was... I didn't think She's about this... She's the outside. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't think about this poor girl getting now? beat up. I'm sitting there thinking, where'd Dolores come from? <laughs> Like, like we all knew her name. Like, she was nuts. But, yeah, that that's what I took away from well, this. Not this poor girl getting beat up. Day. Yeah, oh, I'm honest to God, same gray suit. Or sometimes she had a jump, a dark blue jumpsuit. I don't know. But, yeah, she's standing she on one. She two goons always, like, kind yes. of following her. Yeah. It was really bad. Yeah, it was very strange. Well, get me back to Smithhaven. Yeah. <laughs> you Richie. You're kidding, right? Where? Because that area? See, that's what, like, I love when he says Port Jeff. It's just like it's just like a throw out. Just Port Jeff. Well, I'm from Port Jeff Station. <laughs> station. Oh, like that's what I'm saying. Like that a, makes a difference. But people from yes, because the people station. people even people from Long Island. When you're talking to somebody, like let's, let's say you're going to Suffolk, it's like, oh, so hey, you're a pretty cool guy. Where are you from? You'd say, oh, I'm from Port Jeff, because for some reason you'd say, oh, I'm from Port Jeff Station. They go, where is that? <clears throat> Like it's immediately south. You know where the train station is? <laughs> yeah, there 
it's kind of a little south from there it starts port jeff station yeah. like you would think like with all the huntington stations and east northport and like all these modified town names that it wouldn't be foreign right so we all just say port jeff and it w- matter of fact chicago i'm taking the bus cross country me and my buddy walk out of the the, the bus station and there's a guy like we light up cigarettes and we're, we're sitting there talking and this guy is like hey uh, can I get a cigarette I'm like yeah of course we give him a cigarette but he's, oh where are you guys from oh Long Island holy shit me too we're on Long Island and um, my buddy's like oh Northport and I'm like oh uh, Port Jeff he's like I'm from Port Jeff too and I go this is the moment where you yeah. dime yourself out because if somebody else says Port Jeff you say actually Port Jeff Station and he goes me too I'm like, what neighborhood did you grow up in? Oh, the Norwood neighborhood, because that's based on the elementary schools. The Norwood neighborhood. I'm like, oh, that's where my parents' house. I mean, I grew up in Terryville, but like, I'm in no- my my parents in Norwood now. Oh, what street? I'm like Montrose. He's like Gaymore, which is like a block over. Yeah. And I'm like, we look about the same age. Like, what's your name? And he's like Frank Seal. And I'm like, I played football with an Andy Seal. Yeah, that's my little brother. Get out of here. In Chicago. In Chicago. Were, yeah. <clears throat> and it was mind blowing. Yeah. Like, but but the the whole Port Jeff to Port Jeff Station thing is like, it's just so annoying. It's I think it's a Long Island thing because people will specify. You know, I'm from Massapequa Park. I'm from Garden right. City. I'm from Upper Brookville. But we have to generalize because some reason the combination of Port Jeff and Station <clears throat> fuck people up. I, when, when, I would, when I saw Roach the other night, he actually had a bit about it. He said it sounds more fancy when you just put Upper in front of it. Right. Like, I'm from Upper Hicksville. Right. Like, yeah. people are like, oh. I mean, no, people you don't should, say Upper Hicksville. You should be in Texas. Like, I, um, literally, like, when people go, oh, I'm from New York. Then I'm like, they go, where are you from? I'm like, Long Island. It's like, I, I And they're like, oh, judge, I'm from Brewster. Well, though, <laughs> I try to judge where, how well they know New York. Because, like, if they say, oh, I'm from, you know, New York, too. I'm like long island they're like if they say what part of long island then or they if they right. just go oh okay it's like do that when they yeah, hear yeah, long yeah, island right. do they think you're rich yes. No. well that's what the, the, no the, every time <laughs> well you just said oh richie rich people like with the smith haven mall like that is not that area like you have got like like billy's mm. jokes about growing up and being a heroin addict like is a very <laughs> real thing for that area like we, the, the Port Jeff Station was not was like a lower middle class. Like everybody was at the same level in that place. Oh, see, now it's different. It's changed. It's there's been a lot of like there used to be three working farms when I first moved out there from Astoria. There were three working farms in the town. No. Now it's all houses and McMansions right. and stupid shit. But well, some of that's in Hicksville too. I, like when I right, drive around the it's neighborhood, it's the story of Long Island. Yeah, it's, it's but that's what I'm saying. It's no different than Hicksville. Yeah, but right. when you Except tell we people you're from Kelly. Hicksville, the look I get, like, they go, is that really a town? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I had a guy almost yeah. beat me up in Ohio because he thought I was making fun of him. I was like, no, it's, it's really Hicksville called Hicksville. Hicksville. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that too, but he just thought I was saying, like, hick. Right. Yeah. Like, but I was like, I'm telling I'm you, this is Hicksville. from Hicksville, like, you, you hick. Like, yeah, that. Like, he right. was Well, I usually that. narrow it down. Like, I'll go Long Island. They go, where on Long Island? Then I go, okay, they know Long Island. I go, Nassau County. And they go, where in Nassau right. County? Because, you yeah, know. Yeah, you, you, you bring it down. I, you, I don't go, like, Oyster Bay, town of Oyster Bay, and then go Hicksville. <laughs> right, you right. You know, right. but it's like, I'll go, all right, it's Hicksville. And they're like, if they know it, then they'll go, Hicksville? Well, see, never that's why my I'm favorite. Like, how have you never heard of the biggest, like, train stop? Yeah. Right. One of the one of the probably four most important train hubs on yeah. Long Island. Absolutely. And I and uh, you you probably would know this to agree or disagree, but I I heard somewhere I don't remember where, but it's Hicksville is actually the highest point, the highest elevated point on the island. So the highest elevated point is just Andy north of there. This. Yeah. No. 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 It's true because I actually once was like, oh, Bald Hill, right? And this guy at this fucking party is like, actually. It's that Bald Hill's not the highest point. Might be the highest point in the town of Brookhaven. But the highest point on Long Island is like on the North Shore. See how mad he gets when there's somebody mm-hmm. that knows something he doesn't mm-hmm. know? No, it was the way he presented it. <laughs> right. the way he presented right, I'm it. fucking triggered right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 all I'm saying is I'm a race car. I'm a race car and I'm in the fucking red, Tony. And you don't want a fucking race car in the red. 
I'm just glad he's in a better mood this week. I see. I don't even know. Like that. even even last week, I had people come to me. Andy was Andy again. What's what's the matter with so him? You got off air. You got to tell me who these people are because I think I'm fucking straight in the mouth. <laughs> I just, just turned. We just went to my the wife, side. Actually, my wife and I were just talking last night. She's like, aren't you like tired with how angry you are? Because I'm angry all the time, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. He knows this. Yes, it's true. Uh, and and uh, Last week was a great conversation, by the way. I thought so. Yeah, no, I, I think we, so. we got somewhere. I mean, somewhere. you got your ass handed to you. But that's no, fine. No, no, I got no, no problem with that. That's not true. No, but that's was, not true. No, it's not entirely it, true. No, but, it wasn't. But it was to a certain extent. It was just educational. For lack of a better term. Right. Yes. No, I thought it was great. Absolutely. I really, I, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is the, the it. conversation I think everybody should be having, honestly, yeah. rather than, because uh, we just had our school board, right? Like uh, all the budgets and everything, <clears throat> yeah. and ours passed. And uh, so I listened the day before, it was Monday that I was listening to the Meet the Candidates video. And I'm like, okay, because if any of you say that CRT is being taught in schools, you're immediately... I'm immediately not going to vote for you. Right. None of them said that. So I'm like, wow, they all sound the fucking same. So I went on Three Village Dads and I looked for who they were all going, well, these are the guys that we need. And I didn't vote for them. I voted for the other people. Oh, boy. Because, well, no, because those those guys those are, are all guys like... That don't that, represent your ideas. They're, they're just... And yeah. they're all very nice and everything, but it, it, it's a shortcut for me to be able to not have to pay attention to local shit like that. And yeah. know that I'm voting for the, the yes. what I should be voting for based on my sensibilities. Yeah, but I don't think people vote these days like they used to. So it's like they vote just like, oh, like they don't look at just the ideas and, and seeing and listening to what right. they're well, about. We live in a highly specialized society where we have to trust other people for things. Unfortunately. And that our brains are not set up to do that mm -hmm. like that's why you have all these crazy conspiracy theories that's why like like how complicated some of these conspiracy theories are you, you listen to them and you're like yeah but it's just this like why isn't your brain rejecting the sublime the simplest way of this thing being true why are you making it more complicated it's because you we have all this time you have other people come and mow your lawn you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no it's like little things like that like like somebody else is making your coffee mm -hmm. like do you know how long it would be to make some of that starbucks coffee if you were to make it at home to roast it and like the amount of yeah. time the effort that you would have to make but it's in just in this spot mm -hmm. uh I, i'm gonna Oh, look, Vicky it's almost time. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky said it was a good show last week. It was a good show. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a comedy show, but it was like, it was such an engaging conversation mm -hmm. that most people should be having these days, like right. you said. Vicky yep. did send me a message, and she was like, I, I like whatever. And I said, well, it's just all an act. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must have really, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Do you know Vicky? Out, uh, no. Oh, okay. I know, you know, from being on here, I know right. uh, that right. of yeah. people, you know, because like I said, start out with Tuesdays with Tony, you know, and then it went to Thursdays with James Hill. That's yeah, I don't. I was going to ask Chris Thomas where I don't even know where that is. And I think it's even closer to Huntington, like like a, sort of a, it's on the North Shore and it's closer. Uh, James Hill. I've never even heard of James Hill. Mm. Is it near Bayville? I grew up on Jane Boulevard. Says, <clears throat> What's that? Hilly. Jane Boulevard. Oh. That spelling. So obviously big. What was that person. road that's near Bayville? It's called Snake Hill or something like that. That that winding road that's like off to the side when you. The one that goes it. around along the water. That's mm. isn't that Shore Road or something? No, there's another one that's kind of off the beaten path and it has all like the really nice houses over there and it's r like a real windy road. So I was I was explaining to somebody like uh like the Smithtown, the Bull. There's the Bull in Smithtown. It's like. And there's a there's a road that's called Bread and Cheese Hollow Road, and I always call it Ham and Cheese Hollow Road <laughs> to my wife because she grew up near there. She was in Kings Park, and it's like kind of by Kings Park. And she, I was like, "Hey, I was up on Ham and Cheese Hollow Road, and it's bread and cheese." <laughs> like you, <laughs> it's I'm insufferable. Uh, Chris says yes, yeah, near Melville. Okay, Melville. Oh, sure. Snake Hill is Lloyd Harbor near Cold Spring Harbor. Okay. It's all the same thing up there. Thank you, Chris. A bull in Smithtown. I don't believe you. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, it used to be a senior prank for the the graduating classes to paint the bull's balls red. Oh, uh, a, 
Red there's, ball there's theme. A, this, I was just about to say that. Yeah, <laughs> ball themes. I, I Red and Red silver balls. balls. I'm not feeling very comfortable about silver this. Silver balls. <laughs> silver balls. See, that's the call and response. Yep. Um, so that was a senior prank that everybody had to yeah, do? Yeah, but, but it, it, like all of these stupid names. I'm like, do you know why the bull? Why there's a bull? Why Smithtown's associated with the bull? Because it's associated with why it's called Bread and Cheese Hollow Road. John Smith <laughs> rode around on his bull... The the edge of his problem that's supposed to be the town of Smithtown limits. It's so stupid. How the fuck do you know this? Bread and Cheese Hollow Road. I will get to that in a second. <laughs> Bread and Cheese I Hollow Road is where he stopped for a snack oh. of get this. Spoiler Bread. alert. <laughs> Bread and cheese. Oh. Mind I know this because I bartended at a place called the Smithtown House that uh, they used to host like the Republican Party would have their meetings there uh, like once a week or once a month, whatever. And but also the Historical Society would meet there. And there was uh. a book on the back bar. <clears throat> Sounds like a rocking place. That it, it was awesome. <laughs> but it, there was a book on let's the, go. which had like are they this, open. It was I don't the, even drink, but let's go. <laughs> the Smith. It's now. It, well, no, it's not even a Buteras anymore. Because they, they, they had moved in there. But the uh, there was a historical society book that they had published about the history. And it used to be dead enough where I would just sit there. <laughs> Reading through. And read oh, it. my goodness. I used to read the telephone book <clears throat> when I was a kid. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of chins. <laughs> and we're not even in China. <laughs> All right, it's time. Oh, it is time. Gosh. So it's glad, of time. course. So glad. Oh. Was, has it really been a year since you were here yeah, last? Yeah, I was here last April. <laughs> yeah. Holy Boy, crap! Howdy. That's crazy, man. I got to keep my audience, you know, <laughs> full of anticipation. <laughs> when I'm Leave them wanting show. more. That's it. Old. Are you? Ken, uh, I love you. <clears throat> Ken Pichel, very nice. One of the um, originals. Anybody want to see Carol? Come join us tomorrow. We'll be uh, hanging out in the Giggle Room where they're having the Pat Dunn birthday extravaganza. James Raniolo, Jen Snortlin, Allison Persky, Julie Carey, and Brian Paul. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, I might be <clears throat> eating a chocolate mushroom bar. So we may end up here because Billy framed it as let's get into an adventure. Oh boy! But anyway, I you have to have a guide. You have a guide, Billy. Oh, but he's going to join you on the trip, yeah, so I don't know if that's a good thing. Billy is a force of nature. <laughs> yeah, he is. He definitely is. So. Uh, all right. What? So uh, what else are you doing? So you're hanging out with uh, Grandma? Yeah, it's my grandmother's 101st birthday. Wow, so that's wild. So I am up for that. And uh, just saw my childhood friend who grew up across the street from me when we <clears> went <throat> Big Applebee's in Beth Page. You Who? know. Who'd you see? Come on, give us a name. I don't know if you remember Laura Hackett. She used to live right across the street from me. Very tall. She was a year younger. Tall, blonde. I I definitely remember the name. Yeah, she was always we she was always my sidekick, so I gotta look her up. If but. you gave him the shape of her breasts. Oh, <laughs> Laura, <laughs> of course. Oh, teardrop breasts. Sure. I remember <laughs> teardrop her. Teardrop breasts. I have a lot of uh candid you know, <laughs> photography <laughs> with teardrop titties. Tony was always from in the neighborhood. You'd never know yeah. when he was going to pop up. So, you know. That's true, actually. <laughs> yeah. He was always in the B section, which always, he lived in the A section. That's why we used to hang out in the B section. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. What did I miss? Like a goat. Maybe I should. When there David, a lot of where's, stress. <laughs> where's Walker today? He's in the B section. All right, let's go to the A. <laughs> So you just have to mention the Flash and like Blue Beetle and that okay. thing. Ted right. Cord, the Ted Cord Blue Beetle, which is the second Blue <coughs> Beetle. I, I, we'll we'll talk about this more after. That. I bumped into Rose Walker last week, two weeks ago. You remember Rose Walker? No. No. Oh, all right. Rose Walker also lived in the A section, but she's been a local politician for like fifty years. But all right, never mind. Sorry. Uh, she called me her favorite comedian. She doesn't get out much. Huh? No, not at all. Michael Pol <laughs> Michael Polaskak, Welly Jackson, John DeResta, Alex Bradley, Emily Santosis, Mike Tanzi, um, along with the names I mentioned a few minutes ago. Just some of the names you'll see on a governor's stage this weekend. So go to govs.com, make some reservations, go see some great comedy shows. Uh, we're out of here. Uh, Don Versations tonight at, uh, at 8 o'clock. Don will be talking to, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. But it's always a great Don Versations. I can't remember. Yeah, that. absolutely. But that's tonight at 8 o'clock on the YouTube channel. Uh, so go check that out. Don Sills. I'm so happy I um, follow him in the entry. 
in the entry? On the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get so excited. I'm like, I'm after Don. <laughs> <laughs> but you Don's come first, right? though. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, no green room tomorrow night because we're hey, going to be hanging out in the, green, in the giggle room. I see the movie room. Um, <laughs> next, next Friday, Ooh. we'll be in here oh. with Ooh. Lisa Malazzi, who you, you know. Yes. She'll be here. And Ooh. Laura Patton. Oh, God. so we're gonna have a fun show next she's week. Like seriously, one of my favorite people. Yep, she's great. She really is, and I, I don't, don't get to see her nearly enough. <clears throat> and she gets to see you way too much. She told me. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see she's who else I have. Uh, oh, that's it for next week. I got to work on on some guests. Oh shit, I'm not paying attention. You see, I'm a draw. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so we already know what Friday big, is. A very big, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> May I had a shirt made and everything. Yeah, I bet you Laura won't have a shirt, an Andy Bajano yeah. shirt. I will say though, this I'm is, setting the bar for this is the first shirt I've ever seen like that. But I have been on the breast of many women. <laughs> you you are so in trouble when you get home. <laughs> no, I'm not. She doesn't fucking watch this. She doesn't even think I'm funny. It's true. She doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, no, Carol has to make a pair of panties. Now Carol has to make a pair of panties made up with your names on it. <laughs> How do you know she doesn't already? Hey, Andy, don't go there. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Everybody have a great weekend. Enjoy Donversations tonight. We'll have a great weekend. see you Monday. Thank you, Carol, for hanging out. Thank Love you. them, Carol's Thank here. You for me. Bye, everybody. Bye. What will you experience at a Knock 'em Dead comedy murder mystery show? Suspense. Excitement, love, more love, violence. Well, not really. And of course, some music. Knock'em Dead Comedy is the number one murder mystery troupe, entertaining thousands of people for over 20 years. You have a great night, or what? Absolutely. Good, good, good. Their hilarious murder mystery shows are full of audience interaction from beginning to end that will keep you laughing all night long. Their shows are not to be missed. Knockin' Dead Comedy's murder mystery themes include a mob show, a redneck wedding, a high school reunion, a family reunion with a luau theme, or your own custom show. Johnny, you have a good time tonight or what? Had an awesome time. All oh, right. Oh, I had a great time. You had a great time. KDC, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, all right. Fundraisers, private parties, corporate events, restaurants, and more. Contact Knockin' Dead Comedy for your event today.